guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys five exclusive apps for your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. All of these apps are free and they're absolutely fantastic, full of features. So let's go ahead and download them. First, I'm going to show you, however, uh, which store to go to download these. Now, these are designed for Galaxy products. You're not going to find them in the Play Store. So when you buy a Samsung device, what you get is uh, if you go into your apps, and if you go to your Samsung folder, you should have a Galaxy Apps Store sitting on your device. Uh, it could be here or it could be just in your app drawer. It could be anywhere. Okay, if you can't find it, just tap here and type in Galaxy Apps and it's going to come right up. Go inside and this is in fact a store designed for your Galaxy products. So all the applications I'm going to show you guys today can be found in this store. So when I give you the name of the application, tap over here and just search the name of that application, for example, Sound Assistant, and it's gonna show up right here, and then from, from here you can install that application. So let's dive in and discover some amazing applications for your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. All right, so the very first app I wanna talk about is called the Sound Assistant app. So let me launch the Sound Assistant app. Now when you launch the app, you have the option to enable the floating button right over here. If I go into the floating button, uh, it tells me, do I want the floating button to disappear in three seconds, five seconds, or 15 seconds after I bring it into existence? So how do I bring up the uh, floating button into existence? Very simple. Uh, you just change the volume of your device and boom, there's a floating button right here that you can tap on that allows you to change the volume of your device. Uh, from here, you can also access the equalizer if you so desire. And also, uh, if you go back into that button, you can go directly into the settings of your sound assistant. And again, now as you can see, the sound, uh, the floating button disappeared in three seconds. Now, every time I press this, it comes up. I can tap on it to access it. Uh, when I'm done with it, it takes three seconds for this thing to disappear, but I can change that to five seconds if you so desire. Now you can uh, customize the floating button a little bit. Uh, you can add this here, and of course you have these options here. Uh, it allows you to uh, hear alerts via headphones, things like uh, ringtones, notifications, and alarms uh, will sound right through the headphones instead of the phone. And of course, you've got a bunch of other buttons over here. All you want to do is you want to go and you want to download the sound assistant from the Galaxy Apps Store. So if you go to the advanced settings, you have a bunch of advanced settings. You can go from um, uh, stereo to mono audio if you so desire as well. Okay. And uh, again, that's the main feature here. The, uh, the, the little uh, icon that you can use to modify the sound right from here. You can tap this over here and you have some other options that are, that are going to actually show up if you do have an app running in the background. All right. Now, again, to download these apps, you want to go to uh, the Samsung Store, the Galaxy Apps Store, which is an application you have on your Galaxy devices, and then simply type in uh, sound and it's going to be right there. Okay, so just download, install, it's 100% free. Okay, so the next application I want to talk about, again, if you go back into the Galaxy Store, uh, what I want you guys to uh, search for is, I want you guys to search for Samsung Music. Okay, so this is actually a music application uh, that does not come with your smartphone on many occasions. Uh, what you do get instead is you get the Google Play Music app. So you can install this guy, and let me show you how amazing this thing is. Uh, it has a couple features that I really, really like. So here's the Samsung Music. Uh, here's a bunch of uh, albums. So you have the playlist, you have the tracks, you have got the albums. I like the album view. Uh, if I go into an album, uh, you get a full list of all the um, uh, songs in there. And you can also tap here, and that's going to play whatever is playing right now. Uh, control, next track, previous track, whatever. Okay, so if I play something here. Now if I actually play something, something really cool happens. Uh, let me just play this guy right over here. Now you'll see that the uh, there's an effect around the edges of the screen. Now this is called the edge lighting. So when something does happen, uh, you get light around the edges of the actual display. So this cool effect is only available uh, with a Samsung Music application. Now when you download the application, you do need to go to the settings over here and you have to make sure that edge lighting is enabled so you can see this cool effect over here uh, that is running uh, surrounding the edges of the screen. 
Uh, other things you can do from here is you can go directly into sound quality and effects. So from here you can uh, enable Dolby Atmos, you can uh, access your equalizer, uh, you can access the basic equalizer and all that good stuff. Okay, so uh, I like the fact that it's built into the actual app and you can also tap on edit and you can start to edit individual music tracks right from here, delete, add, whatever. Okay, and of course you can go into the settings and you do have a bunch of options you can modify. Uh, but overall, the presentation of this application is really nice. It's very smooth, very quick. So I recommend that you download this if you're looking for a good music application. And of course, with this application, you also get a controller uh, in your notifications panel. Okay, so let's move on to the next application. Now, the next application is called the Edge Lighting Plus. This is a fantastic application, but to understand the Edge Lighting Plus, uh, you need to understand the Edge Lighting. Edge lighting is already built into your smartphone. We just saw a version of that uh, is in the music application that was surrounding the edges of the screen with a light. Uh, what I want you guys to do is go to the settings. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, go into display and then go into the uh, edge screen. At the bottom here, we have the edge lighting option. So basically what this allows you to do is when you get a text message, when you get a notification, uh, when you get a call, it lights the edges of your screen. Now that light is customizable. So I can actually pick a style and I can also pick what app I get notified for. So if I tap this, uh, right now I have set it so that every single app, uh, when I get a notification, I also get edge lighting. So here's what it looks like. Okay, right now that's what I have it set up to be. I can go to effect and I can pick basic, multicolor, glow, glitter. Okay, so by default, you only have a bunch of options. When you download Edge Lighting Plus application, you get access to even more applications. So look, that's the basic. That's what happens when I get a notification. I can change the color of it if I so desire. I can go to red color or whatever, uh, and I can change the transparency and the effect as you can see, okay? So when I go back out, however, and I download that Edge Lighting Plus application, it gives me even more options. If I go to effect now, you'll see that I have the boomerang option, this one, the fluid option, okay, the galaxy option, which is pretty cool, and of course the loop option, as well as the celebrate option. And I can just click apply, and that's going to apply across the board. And of course, again, just go to the Samsung store, uh, tap on search, and tap on edge lighting, search for that, and download the edge lighting plus application absolutely fantastic application. Now remember, uh, when you do launch the Edge Lighting application separately and you make a modification here, it's gonna override whatever you have done in the actual settings over here. Uh, cancel that in the, in the settings over here. Okay, so Edge Lighting Plus is an add-on to the Edge Lighting that's already built into your phone. All right, let's move on to the next application. The next application is called the Voice Recorder. And again, you wanna go to the um, uh, Galaxy apps and just search for voice recorder voice Recorder it's going to come right up again a Samsung exclusive application uh, It is a professional application. It's 100% free So once you download this it's going to be in your app drawer you click on it and it's a voice recorder Now what I like about this voice recorder is it's got a couple different modes the standard mode just uses a standard microphone to record your voice but if you go to the interview mode and you click record uh, you can put this on the on the table and this side of the microphone records the person sitting on this side and this side of the microphone if i tap here as you can see picks up noises coming from that side so this is an interview style recorder as well and you also get a nice little um, interface you can save these things okay let's go back uh, the standard recording is right here so if i record something in my as you see i'm recording and it's giving me a nice little graphic here so that's fantastic so let's tap plus, uh, save that also. Uh, let's go back. And of course you have speech to text recognition. So this is actually going to uh, convert what you speak into words. So let's um, uh, do a quick example. Hey, how are you doing? And as you can see, we got a quick conversion at the bottom here, which is absolutely fantastic. And the whole thing does get saved uh, with the voice and the text. All right, so that's the uh, thing. By the way, uh, when, you, when you record something, you tap on the list, and here's a list of everything that you did record. 
You can create categories and categorize everything. Uh, you have some preset ones over here, but you can add more categories as you please. All right, fantastic stuff. You can go to the settings. You got a couple options here uh, to change the quality of the actual recording. Record audio and stereo as well. All right, so that's the voice recorder. It's free and it's fantastic. Let's move on to the final exclusive application and see what it's all about. All right, so the final application is called the car mode. Again, you want to go into the Galaxy apps and simply search for car mode. It's gonna come right up. Once you download the car mode, it's gonna be right over here. Uh, when you launch the car mode, it's gonna ask you to, uh, it's gonna give you a little tutorial. So this one says focus on driving. So this is an application that you will be using when you're driving your car. So let's click start and see what happens. So after reading the terms, just agree to all the terms and then click next. And then it's gonna say scan for devices. You can do that. I'm not in the car right now, I'm gonna skip it, but you can uh, connect to your car via Bluetooth with this application. Let's just skip that for a minute. Just keep, uh, keep clicking next and give all the required uh, permissions to the app so you can fully utilize the app. Let me go to the settings here, uh, enable this, click allow. So all this is gonna happen when you first install the app, so it's not a big deal. So anyway, the voice services, uh, we're gonna make sure all that is allowed as well. Okay, fantastic. Click agree and boom, that's the car application. You got access to your phone. You got access to your Google Play Music so you can play music right from here if you so desire. And then you also have, uh, let's go back here, uh, the messages, location, find my car. So if you do park your car, let's say you park your car, you tap on this, you tap on new parking, it saves the location. So you can come back and find your car uh, if you kind of lose it, if you are parked in a busy city. Of course, you've got a bunch of settings. Uh, do not disturb, wake up command, my places. One thing I do like is, uh, if you go to the display, uh, you can go to the widget screens and you can rearrange all the widgets from here, okay? So you can do that. You can uh, rearrange the app. So I can take this one over here and put it over here. If I tap this guy, I can just go like this. Boom, it's now upstairs. Uh, I can actually change the navigation bar position as well. So I can go like this or like this. Now this is assuming that your phone is in, it's gonna be in landscape orientation. If you have it in portrait orientation like this, then the navigation buttons are at the bottom. But if you have it in landscape orientation, you can have it left or right based on your uh, car. You can also have a quick call decline message that you can enable from here. You can change that message as you desire, okay? So all these things are very useful when you're in the car. So that's the home. So if you go into the maps, it's gonna launch the Google Maps application within the actual app. So you don't have to get out of this app. Uh, everything is focused on driving and you can use Google Maps completely uh, with this application, okay? Is to always go to about car mode and make sure that the app is up to date. This one says the latest version is already installed, so we're good to go. So that's the car mode application again. It is 100% free, it's got a nice little interface, it keeps the focus on driving while you're in the car. And of course, when you're ready to exit this application, you just tap this one time and it says close the car mode, you say close, boom, you're done. All right guys, so those are the five applications that I wanted to talk about to you guys in this video for your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. And honestly, these will also work with the S8, S8 Plus, S9, S9 Plus, Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Uh, these are simply Galaxy exclusive applications that you're not going to find on other brand smartphones. So if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, just drop them down below and let me know what you think. And of course, uh, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more fantastic videos. And finally, uh, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, follow me on all at Saki Tech Online for the latest updates. Guys, have a fantastic day. And of course, I do really hope that you enjoy these applications.